We'd been waiting for hours for the lions to move out of the hills. And it was only just before midnight that they started moving. And even before we picked them up in the hills in the Donga, it caught hold of this buffalo bull. And when I managed to get sight of them, it was just Manyari and Magwaza. But the bull was down and they were standing at its rear, although I couldn't see much. Eventually we managed to maneuver around into a better position and get the lights on the situation. And by then, Manyari had already got the buffalo bull by the nose. But this seemed like a futile procedure and agonizing for the buffalo. For at least the next half an hour, Manyari tried to strangle the bull around the nose, but without getting his mouth into the strangle grip, she wasn't getting anywhere, as the buffalo could still breathe. I had my daughters with me, and they were shocked at the whole scene. But it also brought back a bit of reality to their mostly city lives. Eventually, after about half an hour of this gruesome work on the buffalo's muzzle, he eventually died. I'm not sure what it was that killed him, as Manyari didn't manage to suffocate him. I wonder how the two lionesses managed initially to immobilize the buffalo bull, as he seems to be in really good condition and the two lionesses seemed to be no match for him. Mm -hmm. But somehow they got him down, and once he was down, that was the 